What's up guys, my name is Alex Costa, and over the last years, I noticed something really interesting just by paying attention to what other guys were wearing. Most dudes can go up by two points just by adjusting a few things when it comes to style. That means going from a six to an eight, or an eight to a 10. But Alex, looks aren't everything, and yes, I agree 100% with you. But confidence comes in many ways, and one of them is through appearance. When you look good, you're more confident, and that is a fact. So why not? Why not take those two points that are just up for grabs. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do that with six clothing tricks that most guys don't even know exist. Starting with tip number one, when in doubt, go dark. If you're not sure of what color you should be wearing, whether it's for a shirt or whatever, going with a darker color is usually your best bet. Go for the navy, black, darker shades of gray, for example, because darker colors are known to make you look skinnier and black is always in. You can never go wrong with a black shirt. And that goes for black denim too. If you're trying to look tall and slim, you're gonna wear nice slim or skinny jeans and that's gonna give people that illusion of you being taller and slimmer. The other benefit of darker colors as well, they're easier to match. So if you're learning about style now, you know, darker tones are gonna be your best friends. It's gonna be so much harder to match a baby blue or a red shirt into your look than a navy, black, or a dark gray shirt. Tip number two, invest in a shirt stay. And maybe you're thinking, what is that? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. Don't you hate when the shirt doesn't tuck in, right? And there's all this extra fabric hanging from the sides and the back. Well, shirt stays are affordable, they're easy to use, and no one is gonna be able to tell that you're wearing one. They pull your shirt down and make your outfit look super crisp and fresh. I actually only learned about them a couple of years ago and I instantly knew that it was a life-changing hack, especially for you guys who work in an office or if you like tucking in your shirts for a classy look. Number three, you know those people who only take photos with their sunglasses on? And do you know why they do it? Well, many reasons, scientific reasons actually. Studies have actually proved that the most attractive face is the most symmetrical face. So the left side of your face needs to look more like the right side of your face. Most of the time, it does not, let me tell you. Everyone has a bad side. But sunglasses will make your face look more symmetrical because they're the same on both sides, which means your face will be instantly more attractive. Today's video sponsor is Jade Black, and these guys make some sick sunglasses. Look, I own a lot of sunglasses, and most of them cost three, four, five times more with the same quality, if not worse than these. The sunglasses industry is crazy because the markup is so high. Two, three, or four hundred dollars for sunglasses is insane, right? You can pick up these Jade Blacks for less than 50 bucks. 45 bucks by using my code Alex to get 10% off. They use Italian acetate, which is the same material that brands like Ray-Ban, Gucci, and YSL use. And these are polarized, so they have way better glare protection, they reduce eye discomfort. It's almost insane that these costs are so little compared to other brands that look and feel the same. Not only that, but there's also a giveaway happening right now, and Jay Black is gonna pick four of you who buy a pair and fly you out to Cancun with everything paid for, all right? Each pair you buy is an extra entry to win this trip. Oh, and it's free shipping everywhere in the United States and discounted shipping on all international orders. So go to jblack.co to check these guys out and pick up a pair today and use the code Alex to get your 10% Oh, look how good these looks. You can literally match these with anything and everything, and they have so many different styles on their website, so you can go pick your favorite and get them right now for a fraction of the price of these other brands. Tip number four is a big one. Don't get caught underdressed. When in doubt, overdress. You never want to be the least dressed guy in the room ever. Being slightly overdressed is not a bad thing. It's a lot better than being underdressed. True story, embarrassing story. Just last month, I got invited to a party, and I show up in nice clothes, but not dressy clothes. I was in like my suede jacket. It was a really nice jacket. As soon as I walk in, the shame. The sight of every guy in there wearing the tie. That was the worst feeling ever. Me, the fashion guy. I was the most underdressed guy in the room. My friend forgot to mention that I was supposed to wear a tie to this party. I, I mean, I almost killed him. Even if you're just going to get some errands done, don't be that guy wearing like the dirty, ripped up clothes. Get comfortable basics that fit you properly. That's it. You don't need to try hard and try to look good at all times. All you have to do is not look like a slob. That's it. Next up, learn how to identify a low-end shirt. You know when you pick up a shirt, you look at the tag and you've never heard of the brand before? Now you don't know if it's a good brand, you don't know if it's worth the money. Well, here's a tip to make sure that you're getting a quality item. 
check the buttons to see how well they're made. A lot of times you can tell by the threading on the buttons. You can see exactly how much effort was put into making these buttons or maybe not put into making these buttons. If the threading looks off, like it looks like it was rushed, then you know that they didn't go the extra mile. It's probably a low-end shirt. And of course, make sure to feel the fabric. You know, feel the shirt, try it on before anything else because every shirt is not gonna have the same fit. They're all gonna fit differently and they're all gonna feel different. And when you're building out your closet, start with nice, clean designs. One of the biggest mistakes that I see guys making when they're trying to look stylish is they're gonna go all out. You come, and when it comes to like patterns and designs, it's just like all over the place because they're experimenting, right? They'll go for t-shirts with the crazy prints and the silver and leather bracelets and gold bracelets and jeans with like embroidered designs and patterns. That is not how to be stylish. I get what you're trying to do, but that's not it. That's just being super loud and obnoxious. The best way to learn about fashion and style is to start with basics that are clean and solid. You start with those and then you start adding a few things here and there to make your outfit really pop and stand out. If you're just throwing a bunch of crazy things on, you're gonna look like a cheap Christmas tree. Clean designs are classy, they're modern. Even though they're simple, they look high end. It looks more expensive because patterns can look a little bit cheesy and corny sometimes. So my advice, get clean white or black sneakers, get modern sunglasses with a simple but effective design, and definitely do not get denim with embroidered designs and symbols on it. Guys, don't forget to check out Jade Black and get your sunglasses for 10% off with the code Alex. I can't wait to see who's going to this Cancun trip. By the way, if you do get a plus one, I don't know if you got a plus one for the trip, but if you do, I'm available, hit me up. I'm always down to go to Mexico. All right, and hit that subscribe button below to become part of the YouTube family. We just hit 2 million subscribers and I couldn't be happier. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Peace.